The Adler has one of the largest sundial collections in the world, over 400 dials. In the last two years, a conservator and the Adler staff worked to conserve 84 of the Adler's dials through an Institute of Museum and Library Services grant. Sundials were used as everyday tools, much like a smartphone. They are particularly unstable objects due to their many moving parts and marriage of materials that age at different rates. Conservation reveals clues about how they were made, who made them, and who they were made for, but also makes them physically stable. The sundials in the collection are made of a variety of materials, and each material requires different types of care. But what does conservation mean? Conservation is work done on a single object used to prevent further loss or damage. Conservators try to slow down the rate of deterioration and preserve objects for future study and exhibition, part forensic scientists and part artist. A successful conservator must be able to understand the chemical reactions behind deterioration of objects in order to treat them while using the dexterity and color sense of an artist to perform delicate repairs or treatments. So, how are these sundials conserved? First, the conservator looks at historic photographs and documentation of the object. This allows him to understand previous treatments, date previous damages, or even see if pieces have been added. The object is photographed before any work is done, documenting its before state. Then the sundial is examined under ultraviolet light. UV light helps the conservator learn more about the history of the piece and possibly provide clues on how to appropriately conserve the object. Certain materials look different under UV light, which allows conservators to see things they couldn't under regular light. For example, metals usually appear black when under UV. Since the metal gnomon on this dial is a whitish color in UV light, the conservator knows that it is coated. Coatings usually protect the metal from corrosion, like rust and fingerprints. The conservator can also examine the sundial under a microscope to discover more information about it. Microscopic analysis can provide clues about how old an object is or help determine how or where it was made. On this dial, the conservator is trying to determine how the carving on the stone was made, either with a stencil and acid or with an engraving tool. Because the edge of the engraving is wavy, this indicates the dial plate might have been made using a wax resist and acid bath. If the line was straight, it would be more likely the engraving was made with a sharp tool. Microscopic analysis can also help determine if deterioration is old or new. Since the chip seen here is very dirty, we suspect the damage is quite old. After the conservator analyzes the object, he begins conservation. For the Adler's sundials, this most often included cleaning and stabilizing. One of the ways in which the conservator cleans some of the stone garden dials is with moisture and a Mars Stabler eraser. He steams the piece, either with a dental steamer or his breath, to loosen the superficial dirt and grime, and then uses a Mars Stabler eraser to take the top layer of grime off the surface of the dial. This cleaning removes material that might cause further damage to the object and makes any engraving more legible. Stabilizing both new damage and old repairs is also important. On this dial, the moisture from the steam cleaning caused an old repair likely done with plaster and animal-based glue to fail. The conservator uses a mixture of acrylic resin and glass micro balloons to repair it. Conservators like using this type of repair because it is both reversible and stable. But what are micro balloons and how do they work? In this technique, the acrylic resin is the glue that is used to stick the pieces back together. However, when glue dries, it shrinks, making an unstable repair. When micro balloons are combined with the resin, they provide a matrix of tiny solids that allow the glue to dry, but fills the cracks and prevents the repair from shrinking. The conservator creates a paste of resin and micro balloons and uses a hot soldering iron to work the paste into the repair and flatten it. Sometimes, conservators want repairs to be very obvious. But in this case, he is trying to make the repair blend in as much as possible. With the support of the IMLS and the hard work of the Adler staff and contract conservators, we can safely provide these sundials for research and display them to the public 
for years to come.